Smith's Notes Podcast, Episode 8. Book of the Day, The Talent Code by Daniel Coyle. Greatness isn't born, it's grown. Here's how. Today's summary is going to be short, not because this wasn't an interesting book, but because it really just has one idea. Myelin. M-Y-E-L-I-N. Simply put, myelin is the insulation for electrical signals sent throughout our brain. The more myelin wrapping those signals, the faster and more accurate the signal is. The faster the response time, the faster the processing, faster decision making. Myelin from a basic idea standpoint is not that different from our muscles. The more we use our muscles or require from them, the stronger they get. The more often we do a repetitive task, the thicker the myelin gets. Some neurologists are now saying that myelin is the holy grail of acquiring skill. Michael Jordan was not born a great basketball player. He created his success. How? By deep practice. The author writes, deep practice is built on the paradox that struggle in targeted ways, playing on the edge of your abilities where you make mistakes, makes you smarter. If you're playing basketball, taking shots from further away, or from an area on the floor you're not used to shooting from. Playing against people that are better than you, so you have to step up your game. And not so much that you're out of control, but enough to move you from what I would call confident to concerned. On your toes, so to speak. Deliberate, deep practice where the goal is to be in situations you are not familiar with doing things you can barely do. Deep practice will force you to see where you messed up, then you ask yourself why you messed up, correct it, and do it again and again and again. That is how you create more myelin. Remember the book Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell? If you've never read it, don't worry, I'm going to do an episode on that book in a few weeks. But the basic premise of the book is the factors that contribute to high levels of success. He talks about the disproportionate amount of Canadian hockey players that are born in the first few months of the year, and he talks about the success of a few business people. I do not know if this is where the term originated, but he talks about the 10,000-hour rule and how people considered to be the greatest in the world at their craft have at least 10,000 hours of intentional and deliberate practice. Some examples used in the book are Michael Jordan, Bill Gates, and the Beatles. The Beatles are a great example because they spent every night for a very long time, many years, playing in Germany before they got popular in England and the U.S. Similar to those examples, in the Talent Code, Daniel talks about Michelangelo and how he started as a stonecutter at the age of six before he could even write. It wasn't until the age of 24 that he created what people called a great work of art. The Pieta was completed in 1499. He did David shortly after that, which took about three years, then almost four years at the Sistine Chapel. The author argues that he was able to do that because he spent 18 years of his life in deliberate practice. There are a lot of people who want to argue with the 10,000-hour rule and say it's not correct, but the common theme between both of these books and the research is that it takes a lot of practice, whether that practice is very focused or generalized, to become great at something. So do not get discouraged when things don't go well at your first few tennis lessons. The best thing to do would be to get very intentional about it and see how quickly you improve. The last thing I want to talk about from this book is action. This is one of the common themes you are going to hear in nearly every book I talk about on this podcast, and that is because thinking or talking about it doesn't get anything done. You have to get up and physically do something. So to sum this book up, if you want to get better at something, doing it repetitively, intentionally, and with great focus on mistakes will build myelin and thus make you better at whatever you are trying to do. You can get all the show notes over at smithsnotes.com and get your free book at smithsbook.com. Talk to you tomorrow.